All right, so here, next thing we're going to talk about is um, whenever your equation is represented by a function, you have an x value, which is your domain, but it's also called your independent var variable. We also have your y value, which is your range, we call the dependent variable. Your y is dependent upon the x. Um, we can write things in something called function notation, where all we do is take out the y and put in the f of x. So let's evaluate some functions here. So notice we have an f. We have two functions we're given as fx and g of x. Since we have f and negative 1, we're going to plug that into our f function. So we say negative 1 cubed minus 3. So negative 1 to the third is a negative 1. Negative 1 minus 3 gives us negative 4. Booyah! There is your answer. Um, now when we look at b, notice we have an f of 1 half. That's pronounced f of. So we're going to put that in our f of x function. Which means we're going to take a 1 half to the third. Uh-oh. Minus 3. So if you have a 1 half to the third power, that means you have a 1 half times 1 half times 1 half minus 3. So if we multiply our 1 halves together, that's going to give us a 1 eighth minus 3, which when we take the, those and subtract them, that gives us a negative 2 and 7 eighths. Love me some fractions. Now for C and D, notice these both have G. So we're not going to put those in the f of x function. We're going to put it in the g of x function. So this is going to be a little bit longer, a little more tedious, but we can still do it. So you have negative 3 times a negative 3 squared plus 5 times negative 3 minus 6. And square the negative 3 inside first. Don't take negative 3 times negative 3 and then square it. Multiply 5 times negative 3 gives negative 15 minus 6. So we add all these together. And finally, we're going to end up with a negative 48. Box in your answer so we can grade them easily. Of course, so you can find them easily too. And last one, we're going to put in a 2 thirds into our g function. So a negative 3 times 2 thirds to the second, plus 5 times 2 thirds, minus 6. More fractions, love them. Fractions are friends, that's why they start with f. So we get negative 3 times a 4 ninths, plus 5 times 2 over 3 is a 10 thirds, minus 6. Well, negative 3 times a 4 ninths, your negative three and your nine will cancel and just give you a negative four thirds plus ten thirds minus, well, we're gonna make this an 18 thirds because what we do with your negative six over one, just multiply the top by three, multiply the bottom by three, all common denominators. So now we can all add them all together. Negative four plus 10 minus 18 gives us a negative 12 over three. Well, we know negative 12 over three is a negative four. So don't forget to simplify your fractions.